Okay, welcome to another haul. Lego, Lego haul. Um, it's Christmas Eve here in New Zealand, and um, yeah, so Merry Christmas to everyone out there, or whatever you do if you don't celebrate that. Have a nice day off, or whatever. If you're working, well done as well. But uh, yeah, just that time of the year. So I've got got a, um, a lay-by here and um, a bit of a um, snap by over here that wasn't planned. But uh, so let's get into it. I got a little thing off a of, off a of trade me that um, I thought I might as well collect. Now I did start filming this video and um, I ran out of card space, so I've already cut this open just a couple of minutes ago. I, but I don't know how to join the two videos together, so um, I had to rerun it. So I've already cut this, and it is the um, Scarif. Shaw Trooper, I think he is. He might be um, a, li a little bit more elite, having blue arms. I haven't really looked at a review. I should have had a look, um, so I knew what, who he was. But uh, yeah, I will be checking one out because I won't be opening this. But I um, do like the little um, platform and card. Um, I have the original collection of um, Star Wars figures on bases with cards behind them um, yeah so I'm f very lucky to have those unused and new um, they were a great set but um, I did like them I did like this for the fact that they had already done that you know back in 2004 I think those sets came out or it might have been 2002 somewhere between 02 and 94 could even be 03, but uh, yeah. Um, so I'll have to be looking for the R2 that came out first to um, to go along with this one and look forward to seeing what the next one is. So Shaw Trooper uh, set 40176. I don't know, did I say that already? Sorry if I didn't. $22 New Zealand. Uh, t sorry, $23. $3 was for post. So I paid 20 bucks for the trooper. There's a cardboard box in there. I'd like to know what's in that cardboard box. If anyone could um, let me know, because it's not the card. There's the card. The card's behind it. So yeah. Anyone know what's in that cardboard box? Maybe I should uh, watch an opening and on un unbagging of that set. Probably be the uh, best thing to do. So I picked up lay by yesterday, knowing that I wanted to do a video for uh, Merry Christmas. Um, so I went and finished paying off my set seven o six one six. The Lego Ninjago movie. What does that say? Um, ice tank. Yeah, it's it. Just ice tank. Well, very imaginative name there, Lego. Two hundred dollars in New Zealand for us. Very expensive um, piece of uh, kit. But um, I just, I love this so much. It's such a cool shape. I just couldn't pass it up. Uh, very cool figures. As you guys know, you would have seen reviews of this. I still want um, the Zane's li um, Jay's Lightning Machine. If not just for his parents. But uh, yeah, it's a cool set as well. So yeah. Now what, what I have missed from um, in re watching reviews of people doing this is that, that no one mentions that the big um, cylinders at the back that make the ice chamber are the um, 
Millennium Falcon UCS set in a blue though. So there's four of those there. Um, which well, I don't know why we pay so much for this. It's only eighty dollars in the US. So it's not very often that we pay double plus on a set. But um yeah, very cool. Very cool. Um I'm not sure if um the angler fish in that blue colour whether he comes in another set. I uh, I do want to get the ice dragon as um sorry, Zane's oh gosh, the green dra ninja's mech dragon. Ugh. Get, get it out, man. Okay, so um, that was my lay-by that I had going. I've got one lay-by left with Toy World, and it's uh, the Star Wars Advent Calendar. And I've got no other lay-bys. Oh, I've got a car. I picked up, picked up a new car. For, well, new for me. Um, you've got a Chrysler PT Cruiser. I love Chryslers, so... I was happy about that. The last Chrysler I owned was a 1968 um, VE, I think it was, a VE Valiant two door. Uh, sorry, I wish two door, four door. So, um, first set, I just, I, when I seen the price on these, I just had to jump on them while they were there because I wasn't sure if it was a blunder or. What, but yeah, I didn't want to miss out on the incredible price. So we've got 75195 Ski Speeder versus a First Order Walker Microfighters Series 5. Um, I have all these um, other ones, so I've got up to Series 4 plus uh, these couple here that. Um, Coming. So um, we normally pay twenty dollars. Sorry, we normally pay about eighteen dollars to twenty dollars. Yeah, somewhere between that for one micro fighter in New Zealand. Um, now I had seen these elsewhere for thirty five dollars, which is what um, we pay here in New Zealand for this um, set. But um, I saw these um, fresh on the shelf. And they were twenty seven dollars each, so um, I just couldn't couldn't pass that up. So we've got that one. Um, very cool box art. Love the you get a you know something extra in the middle there. Um, you're really cool. So um, here's your ones at the bottom. That's uh, that's. This, this set and uh, the only ones they didn't have were these ones the two but they will be coming um, so we got I'm very lucky to have these I we hardly you know, normally we get these at the end of January mid February so uh, seven five one nine six excuse me if Anyone heard that stomach movement? Uh, a wing versus Thai silencer microfighter. So um, very very cool um, minifigs. I think I've got this one already. And um, yes, very cool um, printing on the A wing pilot. Very cool. And that, uh, that A-Wing just looks fantastic. I think they've just done so well. I, I love these twin packs. Just just awesome. They're cool. Love them, love them, love them. So I've got that. Uh, they had one battle pack. One type. There was about five or six of them left, I think. I don't know how many there were. So we've got 75197 First Order Specialist Battle Pack. Um, I didn't actually pick this up when I picked up the other three sets. 
and I thought oh, I'll get one later on but when I saw that they were $25 normally and these were selling for 20 bucks I um, <laughs> had to go and grab one so yeah very cool figures love that one very nice maybe uh, maybe we get a little bit too much of this character but um, yeah, the, the only other way to get this chap with this helmet is um, in the um, First Order Star Destroyer, so that's nice. Um, I have seen this type of build before in Battle Packs, but, you know, I'm just going to see things like that, because, you know, let's get real, how, how many things can they make? But yeah, yeah, I love Battle Packs, and um, love collecting them. They're great. One of my favourite little collect collections is my battle packs. So we're down to the last one. We've got um set where are we on the screen? It's seven five two O O at a to Atcha 2 Island I don't, sorry Atcha 2 Island Atcha 2 Chi Island Training mm. Try and say that when you're dyslexic Anyhow, <laughs> very cool set I just love this I can uh, see me wanting a couple of these uh, Just to have one to build And I want to keep one sealed up But yeah, very cool. So we've got old Luke. He looks fantastic. We get a Porg. Very cheap way to get that. And um, some new print on Ray and a brand new Luke Skywalker as an elderly man. Pretty sure he had grey hair in the movie, but I could be wrong. Um, can't wait to see it again because... Um, I do believe there's a couple of things I may have missed, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't see the, um, the six-legged crab thing, um, the, the little, the heavy cannon, or whatever they call it, the first order cannon that crab walks, but, yeah. Yeah, I can't remember seeing that anywhere. If anyone did see it, can you just say, yeah, was there? In a comment. So yeah, very cool set. Ray spins around and smashes open the the rock and uh, Luke's got some little stash going on. He uses the force to uh, let a little bit of sunshine in when he needs to. And um, looks like Oh, looks like Luke's gotten angry and blows open another hole because the hole at the back of the building, this hole here, <laughs> I tried doing that on camera, that hole there just wasn't quite big enough so he had to just go and remove another pillar. But hey, when you're a Jedi, you can do things like that. So yeah, love this set. Anyhow, fifty dollars in New Zealand for this baby for us, and I picked it up for thirty nine. I think it was thirty eight dollars and one cent because I put it on my credit card, and um, the card is you know sponsored through the store, so you get a little discount on that. So if you pay it in time, your your discount works. But yeah, can't see that happening this time of the year. Or any other time of the year <laughs> to actually to tell the truth. I don't know if I've, uh, I should have, I should have done that a little bit different. There we go, that into there. Let's get that there. Can we see? Yes, that's, that's all good. That's, I don't want to adjust the camera and have it fall off my prop that props it up okay so 
thanks for watching my uh, haul guys Merry Christmas to anyone out there I know you know it's just what we say in New Zealand We've, Merry Christmas I, I know there's a lot of other religions out there and Christmas just isn't part of anything but um, if you're on holiday this it's summer for us here and uh, extremely hot we've had some crazy weather we're in a drought already and it's only a you know, we're just oh, even a month into summer, so yeah, we're having heat that's way too early, but uh, yeah, the world is pretty uh, crazy out there, big fires in America, man, those guys um, feel sorry for them, and um, monsoons and other places, but yeah, yeah, we're very fortunate to live in this country, and I'm thankful every day for that. And, um, yeah, so Merry Christmas and um, Happy Holidays and whatever it is that you do. Um, if you're having time off this time of the year, be safe. If you're on the roads, be safe. And, um, yeah, I love you guys and um, probably see you in the new year. And um, I don't think I'll have another haul before then, but you never know. Boxing Day sales possibly there is a couple of things i'd like but yeah we'll wait and see but yeah thanks a lot um catch you next time bye